good day to you. A very good day. If things are not going well to you, it is possible to come out of the quicksand. Maybe you find yourself like this person. Does your life feel like it is stuck in a quicksand? In this situation, only God to help you. You do not find anybody to rescue you. And the more you try, the deeper you go. He is trying to come out of the quicksand. And he is stuck there. Your marriage is like this. Love life, family, finances, everything is in a quicksand. But God is showing to you right now the way out. Miss Angela came to us in this situation. She was in a quicksand. Married, daughter, life was going down. However, when she came to us, she received the prayer, her life was transformed. Okay, I was depressed because of my husband's um, infidelity. He was cheating and I didn't know what to do to stop it. So I am thinking I need to do something to him to stop it. Maybe that will let him stop. I tried to kill him. I remember um, because we used to fight a lot because of this issue. I remember some nights I couldn't sleep. I'll be in bed trying to sleep and there will be something just telling me, no, you have to do something to him. You can't let him get away with this. This is not right. He hurts you. He needs to be hurted as well. You can't let him sleep in peace. <laughs> you have to do something. It just I used to get up in the night, couldn't sleep, go to the kitchen, get the knife, and to the bedroom, <laughs> trying to kill him with the knife. I also remember one night, couldn't sleep again. I went into the kitchen and I'm like, I'm going to hot some water on the stove and um, pour it on him and burn him up. I went to the kitchen, hot the water, came in. Luckily, all the water didn't catch him. Some catch him and he was in pain. It was awful. Didn't get better, it got worse. That way we started even fighting more. You know, I'm surprised he even came home knowing <laughs> that I was that sort of person who was crazy, who would try to kill him in his sleep. So I just, we decided um, enough, and my eldest daughter started acting out, and that was too much. So I decided, this is not normal, what I'm going through. Too much pressure, too much stress. And I thought I was a strong person, but with all of those problems, it tore me down. So it was that bad at home, and my daughter was witnessing all of these things, which was not good for her, too. So it's like, all of us was really, all of, all of us was unhappy going through a lot. She started acting out in school. I have to be at the school all the time, talking to the teachers, the fights there, going to the police, even reporting. My eldest daughter didn't want to come home anymore. So after we, me and my, my husband and I witnessed that, we decided that we have to do something. We have to get some help. So we decided to go to the church because I knew about the church because my mom attended and I had used to attend but stopped. And, I, and we went and we sat with the pastor who counseled us and um, decided that we, we we're going to work on the relationship even though I didn't at the time wanted to work on it because I was so unhappy with the situation and didn't believe that it could change. And I remember I was holding grudges, couldn't forgive my husband. And because of my unforgiveness right there, it caused even more fights. But then after coming to the church and participating in chains of prayer and counsel, then I decided, you know, I'm going to try and see. I'm going to do it. I'm going to work on my, my marriage with my husband. And then after giving my life to God, then my daughter did as well cause, because of some issues she was going on with her too. Um, she decided also to give her life to God. And, from there, we started coming to church. We were raised as assistants. Things started changing. Um, we started to become more happy at home. I uh, started to become a different person. I learned to forgive and move on. And then my husband, seeing that, after a while, he decided also to come to the church and, um, and you know, 
God has been working in our lives. Things have been changing. I'm growing. She's growing. He's growing. You know, there there'll always be stuff to work on. Always. But I'm telling you, my life now is totally different from what it was when I first started coming to the church. Things are a lot better. I don't even like to remember sometimes some of the crazy stuff that I did back then. I, I was like, what was I thinking back then? Why did I even want to kill him and go to jail? I, I, I cannot even imagine now. I'm like, I was crazy. I remember I had to even apologize to him. I said, I don't know how you put up with me. I don't know why you still wanted to stick around. And I was so crazy, try to kill you many times. I don't know why you stick around. And, and for that, I'm grateful. And I have to ask for his forgiveness. And he has forgiven me. What a testimony, what a transformation. It is possible for you to stop suffering. You can. You are told that you can't. But I'm showing to you that you can. Right now, get a glass of water. And let us pray together. This is now the moment of a prayer in this show you can. Our Lord and our Father, God of the Bible, I know you can hear us. You can hear our prayers. You can hear our voice. And you can transform, change the lives the situations of these people over there. Some of them are in suffering. Everything is going down the hill. In a quick sense, Lord, I pray for those who are going deeper and deeper, battling with a disease, battling with a problem. This person is from bad to worst, always is a constant battle. But I pray right now, wherever they may be, all over the world, in tears, fighting, battling with a problem, my God, help this person. She is young, but has an old life, meaning she is living like somebody that has lived for 30, for 50 years, because she is deteriorating day by day. There is nothing good in this life. But I know, my Father, you are the one that can change and transform this life. I bless, I consecrate this water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. You may drink the water is blessed. Amen. If you need my help, you are going to email me. My email address is bbf at universal.org. Also, you can find us through our website. It is universalusa.org. Universalusa.org. You can find us through this website. We are going to be more than happy to assist you. All right? May the Lord Jesus Christ bless all of you. Believe that you can be happy. You can be successful. Join us next time. Meanwhile, you can follow us on social media and stay connected to our powerful and inspiring true life stories and messages. Follow us on Twitter or friend us on Facebook. And you can always find new and motivational pictures on Instagram. Stay connected and see how you can.